Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebRoad.com, and today I want to show you some of the new statistics that are out about WordPress. Um, we all know that WordPress is a very impressive platform. Um, it's a platform that many of us recognize now when we hear the word WordPress. We know exactly what someone means. Um, it is the platform that we're running websites on today. Most small businesses are on the WordPress platform. I'm going to show you that right now. And there's a reason for that. It's an open source software solution that enables us to really take, uh, take control of the way a website looks and the functionality without relying on a third party to do that for us. Uh, well, in the end, you end up needing a third party to take care of it, but I mean that I don't rely on a third party development team when I need to do something to it. My team is able to take care of those things on our own. So what are we talking about? WordPress statistics in 2018. Um, oh, and just by the way, WordPress 5.0 is slated to come out at midnight again tonight. It's December 5th, and it's supposed to come out tonight at midnight, making it available tomorrow, which shouldn't really affect us too much because it, it being a major update means that it won't just automatically update. We'll have to go in and make that update uh, manually, and then that update will probably come with some little tiny bit of development work to fix the website after it breaks, if it breaks. So... Let's look at some of these statistics. They're so interesting, and I only want to spend about four or five minutes on this video with you today. Uh, WordPress runs 32% of the entire internet, and I think that's so interesting. Um, you know, we, you know, we forget, I think, sometimes how many websites rely on WordPress to do the job of marketing, or to do the job of content management, or to do the job of lead generation, to do the job of um, um, you know, um, offering relevant news to a certain community. There's a number of things that you, do, you can do with WordPress. Oh, e-commerce, of course, what am I thinking? So there's all these things you can do with WordPress, and it ends up running about 32% of the entire internet. Very, very impressive statistic. 50 to 60% um, is the WordPress share of the global CMS market. So if you run a website, um, or if you have a website, um, you may not be taking advantage of a CMS system per se. There's a number of ways you could run a website, but WordPress's share of the global CMS market is right around 50 to 60%. So half of all people that have a CMS have, have WordPress. 500 new sites are being uh, built a day. <laughs> 500 new sites a day in the top 10 million websites on the web. So WordPress powers 14.7% of the top 100 websites in the world. Well, that's pretty cool. You know, WordPress is not just for the little guy. It's not for the medium guy. It's for everyone. Um, the top 100 websites in the world, what are those websites? Um, they're going to be websites like ESPN.com, um, websites like, you know, um, like um, sp um, Spotify.com, I'm just trying to think, Amazon.com, obviously, websites like that, um, eBay, um, you know, so those websites are the top 100 websites in the world, and about 15% of them are going to be running on, web on WordPress, so. Um, 37 million global Google searches for WordPress are made per month. That's kind of interesting. Um, that matters more in my industry than any industry. This is interesting too. So, word, the word WordPress gets Googled about 2.8 million times every month. Wow. And 19,500,000 websites are using WordPress. 19,500,000 websites are running on WordPress. Wow. Cool. And these and then here it's talking about 8% of the top 100 blogs are managed by WordPress. And there are so many blogs out there. This is why Everyone is blogging now. Um, everyone is blogging now because it was um, an old way to get really high ranking in search engines was to run a blog. Um, we're sort of starting to learn that blogs are a very expensive way to get search engine, uh, to gain ranking in search engines. Uh, ironically, it, we, we used to think it was a very affordable way. It's actually a very expensive way when you add up labor costs and art costs and creative costs. And then the idea that you're, you need to be generating relevant content or else your blog is worthless, basically. So, let's burn through some of these. Uh, the number of times WordPress was caught guiding missiles, one time? Wow, that's interesting. I'd like to learn more about that. WordPress was uh, used to guide missiles one time. What the, hell, what the hell does that mean? 
So, 32 major versions of WordPress released since the platform's inception. So we wonder why does WordPress 5.0 have to come out right before Christmas, you know? Um, it shouldn't matter too much, but this has happened 32 times where a major version of WordPress is released, you know? So this is not that big of a deal to us. It's a big deal, but it's not that, it's not, it's not a scary big deal. Every 152 days, ma major versions of WordPress get released. Well, actually, they're going to up that. Um, every, approximately every two weeks, WordPress is going to come up with a relevant update, what they're saying now. So, so 123,500,000 theme downloads in 2014. Wow, I wonder what that number is now. And the licensing for a theme only costs about $40, interestingly, still. It's still true. You could pay a lot more. I, I paid, I think I just paid $98 for a WordPress theme that we really fell in love with, that we're going to develop. Cool. WordPress plugins, 1 billion total downloads. 1 billion total WordPress plugin downloads. Wow. That's impressive. WordPress is the most hacked into CMS of them all. Well, of course it is. 8% um, of all WordPress websites get hacked because of a weak password. 61% of sites are out of date, right? So your website is out of date. It's vulnerable to being hacked. And I tell people this all the time. And we work hard to keep websites from getting hacked. Cool. Some of those statistics are a little, a little too much. 90, wow. 90,000 attacks on WordPress sites every minute. That's impressive. 90,000 attacks. Well, with the numbers as big as they are, that, that, that kind of makes sense. There are 76 and a half million WordPress blogs, you guys. So you think your blog is ever going to compete with the 36 and a half million other blogs out there? And I'm not saying that it won't. And I'm not saying that you can't be relevant. And I'm not saying that it won't be interesting. I'm just saying it should not be your focus anymore. That blog is should be not. It should not be your premium. It should not be your premium source of marketing exposure should not be your blog, okay? There are other ways to gain exposure nowadays. Cool stats, okay. This is all good stuff. WordPress.com only has 394 employees. Wow, that's interesting. Not that WordPress.com really matters to many of us. We're all doing, a lot of us are doing managed WordPress solutions, hosting it on our own hosts, all that stuff, so. Well, you guys, well, it was fun to show you those statistics. Um, if you ever need anything, you know where to reach me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, MyWebBro, and it's MyWebBro.com. You can check out my business website. It's DasWow.com if you like. Send me an email, Matt at MyWebBro.com or Matt at DasWow.com. Thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. Have a great day. Have a great holiday. Bye.